because you. Because God will not break his word. All these things are already written in the word. Welcome to today's DDRX. The prescription is say a blessing. Psalm 107 verse 2. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so, whom he has redeemed from the hand of the enemy. I have a guest in the studio. I call her TT, talented Talia. Welcome. <laughs> Thank you so much for having me. So I have a question. We know that God is love. We see it through everything that he does for us. So our lives are living testament. So how can a, a loving God curse man? Yeah, one of God's severest form of judgment is a curse. Curses were pronounced upon the earth by God after the fall of man in the Garden of Eden. Let, let me show you some of them. The curse on women. Remember, God placed Adam and Eve in the garden and they disobeyed God. They listened to the devil. In Genesis 3.16, to the woman, God said, I will greatly multiply your sorrow and your conception. In pain, you shall bring forth children. Your desire shall be for your husband and he shall rule over you. Uh, and you can see we still, we still have the labor pain up to today, even with, <laughs> with modern science. The pain is still there. Then look, the cause of men. Then to Adam he said, Because you have heeded the voice of your wife, and have eaten from the tree which I commanded you, saying, You shall not eat of it. Cause is the ground for your sake. In toil you shall eat of it all the days of your life. So both tongues and tissue shall bring forth for you, and you shall eat the herb of the field. In the sweat of your face you shall eat bread till you return to the ground. For out of it you were taken, for dust you are, and to dust you shall return. So you can see. So one of God's severest form of judgment is a cause. You see today, people walk hard and sweat before they make a living. You know, in Genesis 12, 1, 1 to 3, we saw the sevenfold uh, destiny for Abraham. But the sixth one is a cause on everyone who causes Abraham. In fact, in Deuteronomy 27, 14 to 15, God also calls people who walk, worship false gods. If we dishonor our parents, if one is illicit of unnatural sex, injustice to the weak and helpers, even trusting in man's effort or in one's own intelligence. In Jeremiah 17, 5 to 6, for example, curse is the man who trusts in man and makes flesh his strength, whose heart depart from the Lord. For it shall be like a shrub in the desert, and shall not see when good comes, but shall inhabit the patched ground of places in the wilderness, in a salt land which is not inhabited. Even Zechariah 5, 4, I will send out the curses the Lord of us, he shall enter the house of the thief, and the house of the one who swear falsely by my name. He shall remain in the midst of his house and consume it with his timber. So the question is, if one deceive, if one steal, one has to check, are you honest with your tax return, for example? Do you deceive people? Do you steal? Those are things to watch out for. If you don't want the loving God to curse you. Because God will not break his word. All these things are already written in the word. So let's say a blessing together. Let's say a blessing. My ways will please you, God, as written in Proverbs 16, 7. All will go well with me, as in third John 1, 2. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly places in Christ Jesus. Ephesians 1.3. God bless you.